as part of any process, whether it be reflow, wave, vapor phase, selective solder, it's always a good idea and good quality to ensure that you profile the product. So the product being the PCB, as in here, or as in here. And of course we want to, as discussed earlier, get match the solder paste profile, component profile to the oven. So the way we do that is with a profiling system. So the one we have here today is the, is the solder star. Uh, they have a complete range of profiling tools and software that you can get for the reflow process, for the wave, for the vapor phase, and for the selective solder. And the beauty of the solder star product is that one logger will work across all the disciplines. So in this instance, we're going to run our profile through the reflow oven. So we've hooked up some thermocouples to a sample test PCB. We have our logger, we have our thermal heat shield, which is very important because we don't want to damage the logger. So what we do is we place the logger. Our thermocouples live outside the barrier. Thermocouple logger goes in, lock it in, close the thermal barrier, and we place it on the conveyor. The whole thing travels through the oven, all the while logging the temperatures into the, into the data logger. It's as simple as placing it on the belt, starting the logger, and letting it all run through together. So as part of the Solder Star logger system, we just showed you the reflow there. One of the options with the reflow is you can have a, an RF link that will give you live logging as opposed to just logging it here, taking it to your desk and downloading from the, from the data logger straight to your PC. You can do it live. There's customers that are running vapor phase uh, reflow, reflow ovens. This is the vapor phase barrier. And again, it's a simple, it's a very sturdy barrier, which is able to withstand the, the obviously the, the, the heat and the, and the vapor process and it's hermetically sealed. So again, one logger can be used across them all. Reflow, vapor phase. And here also we have for the, we have the wave shuttle. So this again allows you to slide your logger into the this housing and this goes through the wave solder machine now on the bottom we have all our in, where we collect all our information of the wave solder machine to ensure the immersion depth we ensure that it's parallel we can measure the temperatures at the wave on the pcb we can measure topside temperatures all the necessary process parameters that you need to collect when running a, either a wave or a selective. You can also get the selective palette, which looks very similar. We don't have one today, but, but you can get one. And it will allow you to process control your selective solder system. Again, all using the heart of the system, the solder star logger.